are live. Say hello, Bo. Hello. <laughs> No, I just had one. So saparur pan is good. It's just not too big. You got toast, that's fine. Everything is good. Here we are, beautiful beach. Let's see if some people show up. Here we go, a couple people coming in here. What's happening, everybody? You can hear the boats in the background. Carnivore, good morning. Good morning, how you doing? I had a coffee already. I had a coffee before we came over here. We were, we went to, we were gonna come here last, late yesterday afternoon and we kind of missed the cutoff. We didn't get to Rayong until what, 9.15? Yeah. 9.15 at night. Took us, took us a, a four hours and 15 minutes to get to Rayong. And um, yeah. Took us four hours and 15 minutes to get to Rayong. And then when we got there, it's 9.15 at night, we figured if we come to Ban Pe, it's gonna be like 10 o'clock, 10.15. But we met this motorcycle driver and uh, he said, listen, I'll take you there, 400 baht. I said, okay, we'll go. We went, it's only like 20 minutes. But you know, we got here and we we're like, we don't wanna take a speedboat at 10 o'clock at night. So we just spent the night in, uh, in Ban Pe. And we woke up early and here we are. In beautiful Kosamit. Kosamit, Kosamit. And here is my lovely wife, Bo. Here we go. Oh, got a nice, uh, ah, well, you know, we, that's for her. <laughs> I didn't mean to trick you all. Look at, look at these, look at these hordes of tourists. Unbelievable. I was actually going to go to the road that Carlos was talking about, Ban Tat Tong, and then go over to Hong Sien Kong. The coffee shop. Good morning, Jim. Then I was going to go to the coffee shop, and yesterday my wife just said, "Let's get out of here." Uh, she said, "Let's get out of here. Let's go." And uh, so here we are. We made it. We'll be here until Wednesday. And <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, we'll be here till Wednesday. And I think Bo is going to be working while she's here. But it'll give me some time just to walk around. I don't really want to do that much. I want to I want to relax. I've got a beautiful pineapple smoothie. What do you eat there? Yogurt? Yogurt. Yogurt. Yogurt? Let me see here. We're gonna take a look at it. Well, you're giving it to me then, to eat. That's the yogurt. I already had a kaijio in the morning. Oh, it's, there's strawberries in it, pineapple. There's mango. Yes, Sid is home with Alex. Of course, I did ask Alex, do you want to come with us? You can come with us. I figured we'll work it out with Sid. No, 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 I don't want to come. I don't want to come. He just worked four out of the last five days. So he's like, I need, 
to get my rest. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, we're at Sagao Beach right now. Oh, this one is... That's pretty good. It's a thirst quencher. But they have got all kinds of Chinese Chinese tours here. You can see, look at this straight out, that boat full of people. And I believe that's all Chinese or Japanese, Koreans, I don't know. They're not Thais though. Korean. Korean. For some reason I think the Chinese and Koreans like to come here. So maybe two quarters Korean would, would like to come here. It's not a bad place to get away for the weekend, eh? It's a nice little place, you know. You want to be, you want to just chill in your bungalow, you can do that. You want to get a little spot on the beach where nobody's going to bother you, you can do it. Well, this is my, I think it's my third or fourth time here. I went many, many years ago when there was, there was really nothing here. It was... When you got off the boat, you had to get into the water and walk up to the hotel. That's how you got to your hotel. You had to get in the water. You had to jump in. You know, it was up to your knees. And then you just walked up. And now there's piers everywhere. And then there was some place, I don't know what it's called, like Vong something or other. And I go, sounds like Vietnamese. I'm like, where, where is this place? She's like, oh, it's down in the south of the island. I'm like, you know. So anyway, you can see there's boats out there. Plenty of people. You see the little tour group right there walking. This is uh, this is where we are. I don't even know the name of this place. I think it's Buddies or something like that. Buddies something. Huh? And the one thing is that it does look pretty good. Of course, she hands it over to me. Thank you. She can't eat it all. Oh, it's watermelon. Watermelon, mango, cornflakes, and pineapple. Right? Yeah. No jackfruit. I like jackfruit. I like most Thai fruits. But... Mango, watermelon, and yogurt. Did you get eggs? Hey, smash the like button. I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to say that or anything. But please remember to click like. I've been out here for about. Yeah, we're already, we're in the park already. So yes, we have to pay the park fee, which is a bit annoying. 40 baht for ties, 200 baht for foreigners. But you know, you wanna be here, you gotta pay it. We came over on the speedboat, which was 200 baht. 400 baht, 400 baht round trip. Pretty good deal. You know, not bad. I mean, there's like, 
I don't know, six people, five people on the boat. A lot of people in bikinis here that... The bikinis don't fit them that well. That's what I'll say. Lots and lots of Koreans here. But we're gonna take a little walk when we get out of here. Uh, you know, I just, I've, I've been out here for like an hour. I'm already drenched in sweat. Say hey to the Koreans. They don't bother anybody. It's just there's a large mass of them moving down the beach. And, you know, all the ladies are in there like one piece or <laughs> they're all in their one piece bikinis. <laughs> With their, you know, they got their men with them and everything, and they're all walking around. They're having a good time. What do you expect? Anytime you're near, this is the way I look at it. Anytime you're near the beach, and there's not a, I mean, there's some people here on this beach, but really, you can look down here. Oops. If you look down this beach, there are some places on this beach where there are very few people food is coming now. And I love that. And we have a place, it's not that far from here, we're pretty close to the beach. We're two minutes walk from the beach. So, we're not complaining. And like I said, there's a guy, let me think here, just, just, just this way, just a little bit. He's got a coffee shop, the guy with the rogue coffee maker. He didn't use it the last time. He made me a coffee. Um, but he's got a rogue espresso maker. He's got a nice little shop. The guy had been to America. I don't remember how much I said the last time. I was here, we were here a couple months ago. It wasn't that long ago. But we figured, I kind of wanted to, I kind of wanted to go somewhere like Kalmak. Kalmak or Kalipe or somewhere like that. I wanted to go somewhere different. She was like, eh, let's just go to, to Samet. I think I still get the commission, Sean. Thank you very much. Yes, the bread is mine. Thank you. It's mine. Yeah, that's hers. That's hers. That's hers. So they gave me some, some bread and some beans. She's a, man, she eats like a horse, man. There's my bread. Anyway, like I said, I wanted to go somewhere different. We may go somewhere different. I don't know, because she, you know, one minute it's, oh, let's go to Europe, and uh, you're welcome. Let's go to Europe, and then she's like, I don't know if I want to go to Europe. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I have the time. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, God, it's, I'm not eating that. I'm not having any 
any beans on my bread. You know what's going to happen if I eat those beans. And it already happens. I mean, you know, come on. Let's just be honest. Everybody farts. And to be honest, for about a week, uh, my stomach hasn't been right. Well, there is jelly and butter. They do have jelly and butter with it, so I'll probably put that on there in a second. Oh, wow, they have an army guy down standing on there. So right here in this little area is where it's really busy, but if you walk farther down, there's like almost nobody. There's, you know, two, three people. That's it. And so that's what I'm going to do is we're going to get a coffee and then we're going to go for a walk. You know. We're not going to go over to the, you know, we thought about going to the ritzy side, to the expensive side. But, you know, when you're over there, like, you know, we, we were here and then we were at the, the, uh, at some resort over there the last time we were here. And to be honest, this place is where everything is happening. No, they, they don't do that. That's not how it works. They collect the park fee as you're coming from in from the pier. They don't like have army guys walking around going, give me your money. They collect it right when you're walking in from the pier. When you, you're on the pier, you cannot get in without paying the park fee. <laughs> That's how it works. They have somebody sitting there going, all right, there's a ticket window. And he says, you got to pay the park fee. And then, you know, you pay it, you're in. For me? What'd you give me the eggs? I told you I didn't want any eggs. You just fattening me up. Is what <laughs> I guess I have eggs. Most boats go to piers. They they have like three three piers right now. The PN group, like I'm I'm looking right now. They 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 walked them in. So yeah, I guess you're right. I don't know. No, the guy's not down there. Now. He's gone. Yeah, he's not there. There is a booth. There's a booth right near here for when you walk in from. Oh, thank you so much, honey. Uh, I, I need the other. You want the jelly? Breakfast with the Malins, right? She don't, she's, she doesn't care about the streams, really. She just wants to eat her food in peace. She wants the peace and quiet. Are you working tomorrow? Yeah. All day or what? Yeah. In the room? So I have a little time tomorrow. All right, now I have my bread. I don't get kimchi farts. Never. And you know what I've started eating that is healthy is Greek yogurt. Really good for my stomach. I came here, I thought I was gonna have a fruit shake. I got all kinds of food. Be full. We won't have to eat until dinner, huh? Have an early dinner. We stay at Al Prow Resort. I love it. I don't know where that is. Do you? Yeah. Do you know where Al Prow Resort is? Yeah. Oh, so that's what the nice place. Yeah. Oh. I know I need to get it, Carnival. I did have it once. I found it in a store. I don't know where the hell it was. I can't even remember. 
I did have it. Thank you, Richard, by the way. Thank you very much. You're going to have the beans? You know what that means, don't you? Lots of farting. If it happens, it happens. I don't know if I can eat these eggs, honestly. They don't look that good. Egg is protein. <laughs> Egg is protein. He says he loves the right the right half of the island to the left half. I think this is the the, set, the, the, the half that we're on right now. <laughs> thinking about to bring the motorbike and drive around. Oh, really? Where are we going? I don't know, drive around the island. It's up to you. You're the boss. Been a while since we've had a stream with an abundance of bathroom humor. Huh. When you get older, you fart a lot no matter what you eat. Why are you talking about it? I don't know. That's because they're talking about it. Daniel, thank you. Thank you for doing another field trip. Thank you, Daniel. Choke D to you. I appreciate it very much. The sad thing is I can't pull a Dutch oven on women anymore. Oh, God. You know what a Dutch oven is? When you hold the sheets over you tight and then you fart and you have somebody in there with you and they are in there with you with the cover over you. It's disgusting. It's disgusting, yes. Well, you know, I think it was Jack Nicholson that said, when you get older, you never trust a fart. You just don't. You didn't know what it was? Look at this incredible meal that Bo has. Very good. You want to say hello? How are you? Pretty good now? You better now? We're better after last night. Last night was a little stressful. Slightly. Mr. Billy says hello. Hello, Billy. Hello, Billy. Come back. Come yeah. back and stay in cement. Buy your dream wife. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? She said, you come back to cement. Uh, you come back here, come to cement and find your dream wife. And she's the one who told me, why do you trust a bar girl? Why would anybody trust a bar girl? I don't know. She can have 10, thinking about that, she can have like 10 husband and pay her like 10,000 each. So she makes 100,000, she make a better living than you guys. Yeah, yeah, well, I know that. Did you hear that? I don't know how much you guys can hear, but she's like, she can have 10 boyfriends, 10 husbands, get 10,000 from every one of them. She's making 100,000 a month. She's doing all right. You know. I already told you, make it simple. Find a girl who has a job or who can take care of herself. Very simple. Another boat coming in. Have to eat my eggs. I've finished my shake. 
Why not? Have any Meiji? Well, we have this. <laughs> Billy's clapping his hands. I think he likes the idea of finding a wife on Cosmet. <laughs> Listen, when you start getting older, believe me, as a man, you start going, ah, oh, it's a pain in the ass to have to get involved and do all the, really, you start thinking that way. You know, a lot of my friends are like that. I won't even talk about Carnivore, Carnivore Chronicles. He's got a long way to go before he is ready to get himself a wife. Hell no. Say hi to Dalo Jano. He's all the woman I need. <laughs> well, Jano has his own issues, as we all do. Good morning, Mr. Dowlow. Egg is all right, actually. It's not that bad. He cooks better than any woman. <laughs> I don't know he can service your needs, though. Maybe that's how you roll. I don't know. I think they have, like, a... Oh, God, look now. Like a... Uh-huh. Oh, really? They take them around island to island? Look at that. Uh, well, this is, this is the old school way. Walking in the water. Wow. Uh, I don't know the name of the boat, but we... We paid uh, 200 baht each way. Speedboat. Speedboat. Takes 15 minutes. Furry is about like 75. Yeah, and you have to wait for all the people. Yeah, so they told us, oh yeah, well, you're going to leave it at, at, uh, at 8.30. And at 8.20, sorry, at 8.20, we're in the boat and we're pulling out. We're on our way. I was like, wow. Because, I mean, I got here... And basically, we checked into the hotel. We, we looked, my, you know, my wife looked at a hotel. She's like, all right, this place is fine. Oh, my God, it's just a load of tour groups. Look at all the people down there, Bo. She gets the room. They say we can't get into the room until 12 o'clock. Okay, fine. And I have like five minutes to spare to stream. Look at this. Uh, look at all these people. Oh my God. Yeah, they're, they're like Chinese or Korean. Yeah, I think they're Korean. Crazy. Oh yeah, they're day trippers for sure. They're not staying here. This Carl, day. eggs are good for you. High protein, no carbs, low calorie. Yes, I know. I know they're good for you. I eat probably too many eggs every week. Huh. How many eggs do you think I eat a week? Take a guess. No, I don't ever make four in a meal. I make two or three. I used to make three egg omelets. Now I've stopped making omelets and I make over easy, over medium, whatever, and I make two eggs. I'm slowly easing back into the keto. But you know, it's like I come here and there's like she gives me a couple pieces of bread. I'm like, all right, I'll have a couple pieces of bread. 
It's not easy. All right, I'm done. That's done. Are you done? There you go. You want hot sauce? You got hot sauce. This is what I had. I have not seen this in a long time. Leah and Perrins. This is a very good brand. It's Worcestershire sauce. And it's really, really good. You can have it with steak. You can have it with all kinds of things. What kind of sauce? Why don't you just taste a little? Just taste a little. Live, live exciting. Bloody Mary mix. All these people are just coming in. She never, she never likes anything that I like, man. Really, she, she is. She, her dietary needs and and taste are completely different than mine. Aside from maybe pizza. Do you even like pizza? Yeah, these are Koreans. Do you like pizza? Yeah. She likes pizza. Where do you think they're going? So you think they're staying there? No, they, they stay in the, the Smith Group Hotel. So, so, they, so they're coming here, they're not just stay, coming for the day? No, for group. And then the next day they go somewhere else? Yeah. Oh. They come here for like a little night. She's tasted A1 sauce. A1 sauce. You don't even remember it, but she's tasted it before. It, you know, these are the kind of things that really, she likes some things for it, you know, like some foreign stuff. She'll eat the bacon, right? Eat the sausage? Maybe. But for the most part, man, she likes South Thai food. Yeah, yeah it's the ham kind of bacon. It's the kind of bacon that, you know, they have ham and bacon. Whatever. Give me the dish. I might as well just freaking eat it now. Since you're giving me everything. What about the sausage? I don't get that. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> Oh, this looks pretty good. Sausage looks kind of like, almost like gobbler. It's pretty good. Not as good as gobbler, though. Does Billy speak Korean? Does Billy speak Korean? No. No? Are no. How dare you? How dare you be a Korean without speaking it? without speaking the language. <laughs> he says he can say some bad words. I don't speak any Korean. I've been there a couple times, but I don't speak any, you know, usually I pick up 10 words, 20 words. I don't speak any Korean. None. I don't even know how to say hello. Mm. That's that sounds pretty good. Usually when I make a steak. Look the guy cooking something on the He's cooking. 
We got plenty of Thai fish sauce. Look at what this guy's cooking down there. Here comes somebody else. What's she got? Fruit. She's got she's got Dorian. I learned the bad words because I was mad. I made my mom upset a lot and she used them on me. Did you hear that? You hear that, Bo? Huh? He said he learned the bad words because he would make his mother upset oh. and his mother would swear at him and, <laughs> and use the bad words in Korean. All right. So <laughs> I would say it's fair to say that if Billy was to come here and he saw all these Koreans, he'd walk yeah. up to them and say something in bad, he'd say some, <laughs> some bad words to them. Hey! <laughs> and he'd be like, I'm Korean too. <laughs> I think if you wanted to be friends with them, just offer them a drink. Offer, offer them some whiskey. Korean, they mm, are Yeah. Chinese are not polite. I don't know, you can say that in the... They're not, I don't care. I just tell them it like it is. Cosmet rocks. Looks like you're getting some sunburn. It look like I'm getting sunburned already? Yeah. Really? They won't believe I'm Korean until I pull... <laughs> what? He said they won't believe I'm Korean until I pull my pants down. <laughs> Just got a little wiener. <laughs> oh man. So where are you going to get a bike, a motorbike from? At the hotel? Don't they have one at the hotel? No. Maybe we stream that. Yeah. Just stay, stay upright. We don't want to crash. I'll be on the back of the bike. Bo's driving. And I'll hold the gimbal. And we'll go around the country, around the island. It's not a bad idea. This PN group does a lot of a lot of business, huh? I saw them, you know, you saw them right at that, you know, at the the building. All right, we're just about done. No, your orange juice. Drink your orange juice. Oh, God, you're filling me. You're killing me here. We need another episode reading all the crazy Thai news. Yeah, I know, but... not going to happen today. <laughs> you know, I've come to the conclusion that all news, Thai or, no, we're not leaving until Wednesday. We have a few days here. All news is geared to get eyes on what they're saying. It doesn't matter if it's a feel-good puff piece, if it's a something that's tragic. It doesn't matter. Oh, we want you to look at us so that we get more views, we get more eyes on us, and that's what they're after. And honestly, I worked as a as a journalist for about 12 years. I'm embarrassed now. 
to look at the journalist and see what's what's going on because I never op operated like that because I was in travel and boxing but um, yeah when I was about 17 and for a few years after but that's about it it's embarrassing to see what the journalists are doing now I mean and and the other thing is that you know you look at the media groups and they all have agendas you're done Group after group after group. We gotta get out of here. At least take a little walk around. The beach here um very nice, clean water, so it's very blue. It is very blue. I don't know if it's clean because all these boats coming in and out but it's pretty good it's not bad to be honest the beach that I really liked when I went there was Kaulak oh whoa well, there was nobody there the whole beach was empty and I'm on the beach I'm like this is my beach and I was drinking gin and tonics had like three of them it was they have black sand just like in Bali but they have some good beaches there there are some there are one or two at least one or two good beaches there. Kakut was nice. Yeah, no ethical code in Germany. I assume the King's kids all had their passports and IDs until I read the story about the second oldest needing to get them. I think it wasn't automatically a Thai citizen in the story. I don't know about that. I'm not thinking about it. I saw something the other day. It's nice when you leave and you walk down to the beach and just go, all right, let's get out of here. It's a little busy right here. Yeah, a bit busy. Are you ready? We're not? 12 o'clock? What are you talking about? It's 9.45. Yeah. I thought we were going to go somewhere, like, to the coffee shop. and You just... How far are you walking around? He's open. She, she wants to relax. She wants another. She wants it. She wants another coffee. How many coffees have you had today? Three coffees already. She drinks more coffee than I do. They just they bring them in, bring them out here. Unbelievable. walk on down and go wherever they go. I think I'm going to go over and see if the coffee guy is there.
He seemed that way, Dow. And, you know, I know it, it, it might sound a bit jaded, but I just don't really care about news anymore. There's not much in the news that I really, truly care about. I just don't want to, I don't want to give my energy to that, you know? Well, these people are leaving, apparently. They're going back. In and out, in and out, you know? It's like one after another. So, Bo, I'm going to walk down there real quick. We'll check it out. I didn't see what happened in Moscow. What happened in Moscow? I don't think I saw what happened in Moscow. I could have seen the headlines. What happened in Moscow? You want to say anything, Bo? You want to say anything? No? I don't know. She's like, like what? <laughs> I don't know. Have a good day, she said. She's like, I'm done. That's it. ISIS murdered over 100 people. No, I did not see that. When did that happen? Oh, he's, he's just having water. Hot water. Oh, oh hot water and hot coffee. It's not for me. <laughs> She's having hot water and coffee. Hello from Daolo and Jane Kumbo. Mr. Daolo, this is his nickname, and his wife Jane, who is Thai, said hello. And he comes every, he comes like every three months for like two months. He's here right now. And he's going back. Usually, at, well, not usually, every once in a while I meet with him. I don't know about this time, but he's a good guy. Listens to his wife. <laughs> he listens to his wife. Isis, to be exact, I think a day ago. Wow. I mean, I, I don't understand it, but what in Moscow? That's just crazy. It's crazy they could do that in Moscow. All right, let me take a little walk here. I'm gonna go down to this guy. I'm gonna go to this guy here and see what he says. See if he's still there. Maybe he remembers, remembers me. We're leaving Thursday. <laughs> I heard that Jake, Jake Paul is claiming he's injured. I've heard that, I've heard all kinds of things. I don't know what's true now. I think if Tyson hit him one time on the jaw, that would be it. It would be over. And honestly, I think Jake Paul, instead of doing what he's doing, he, he should be smart. I mean, he's being smart, but he should be, he should have some guts and some balls. And I mean, he fought Tommy Fury and that guy's not even a, a great boxer. He's, he's, He's okay at best. And he got beat. Say what you will, he got beat. So if he fights somebody good, he's going to get... He fights Canelo Alvarez, Canelo flatten him. That'll be the end. I don't care how old Canelo is. Canelo will flatten him. Anyway, let me go down to this... Let me go down to this place real quick. Ugh. All right, I'll be back. Ugh. There we go. <sighs> See all the people coming in. I used to dive. Couple. Oh yeah, it's Buddy's Bar and Grill. That's what it is. <laughs> Guy's got all kinds of people over here. I don't know. It's not even the same guy. Wow. 
Wow. Yeah, I don't. I don't particularly like what he's doing. I understand that you know he's got eyes on him and everything. The, the guy's not even here. The guy who was here the last time's not even here. What's the name of this place? It's called uh, Lima Coffee Bar. Unfortunately, that guy's not here. Just gonna walk down to the end here. Go walk back. All kinds of little restaurants and hotels in here. You know, what's funny is when I'm walking with Bo, I don't get too much grief. I don't get people bugging me and asking me questions. And I don't really get that. But when I'm walking alone, everybody wants to know. I mean, even the driver yesterday, the van driver yesterday was, it was crazy. The van driver wanted to ask every, where did you come from? How did you get there? Do you know who the driver was? What were you? He was asking all these questions. And I'm like, what business is it of yours? He wanted to ask, oh God, they're going crazy over here. Guyana Sagale. Sagale. Guyana. I don't know where they get Guyana. I don't know where they get that from, but. Look at this. This is nothing but. Look, look at here. All Koreans. Every one of them. Koreans. Crazy. Busy. Fury is not good. How many boxers has he beaten? Or... Well, I don't particularly like Fury. I mean, he's just big. You know, he's big. Other than that, I don't really like him. He's, he's definitely not one of my favorite fighters. They're all getting crazy here. Hurry up, let's go. This, this whole resort is nothing but Koreans. Wow, it's crazy. I'll say this, two quarters Korean. You have a lot of Koreans here and I'm thankful that they're not from a place that starts with C and ends with A. I don't care how crazy they get here because I won't be around. But I mean, like almost every single person here. What are these? What's she making over there? Oh, little juice. Well, no, not Canada. I'll give you another guess. Now this girl looks tired. I'll give you another guess, Jim. It's north of Thailand. Wow. <sighs> oh, so this guy's, he must be the guide. He's got the little, he's got the little, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to come off too, too blatantly uh, discriminatory. I mean, honestly, I don't. Oh, we came here the last time to this restaurant here and ordered up a whole bunch of food and then took it home. Took it, took it to our hotel and we sat there and ate it. It was pretty good. Wow. Can't believe my coffee guy is not here. The 
first thing that we did yesterday was we bought a four pack of beer. We, f we bought a four pack of beer, Chang beer, and we proceeded to drink all of them rather quickly because it was hot and it tasted good. And oh yeah, it was so good. It was very, very good. See, now, now there is, we're, we're past the, we're past all the Koreans. Those are ties. I'm kind of bummed the guy's not here. Who knows? He might be in, uh, he might be in America or whatever. working the guy's not even there <laughs> he's got some other guy there Costa Rica enough already China There, I said it, okay? So what, you're gonna be here for a while or what? Yes. I think I'm gonna walk in. I'm gonna go in a little bit, all right? I'll come back and get you in a little while. Uh, let's get out of here. Sitting in one place is not really my idea of fun. Ugh. Go out on the main drag. Buddy Loft, Buddy Bar and Grill, Buddy's, Buddy Cement, Buddy's Loft. Uh, yes, I believe so. Now, this is the <laughs> the same old lady is there at that at that shop. Look at this lovely caramel macadamia cheesecake. Ooh, all these goodies. Except I can't eat them. Bo's already loaded me up with, God, man. Drink this, eat this. I can't eat all of this. You eat it. That's why the way that I figure I can watch myself best is I worry about everything I eat and I don't care what anybody else is eating. I tell them, no, 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 no. Get away. Leave me alone. That's the best way. Then I don't get into, you know, she gave me some bread. Then it's, oh, you want some of this? You want some of that? I mean, it's nice, but. <sighs> All right, so here we are. At the visitor center. Here is the main drag. Really, I like, honestly, probably the best cheesecake I've ever had in my life. 
is the caramel cheesecake from La Mesa Coffee Shop. Now, Bo and I walked this way and we just kept walking and walking and walking and walking and walking <laughs> until we got to the other side of the island, which is where our hotel was. Lots of weed shops here. Should dip in for a quick bird. All right. So, oh, it was so good, man. Here's 7-Eleven over here. Right? 7-Eleven. And then 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven's across the street. So which one do you go to? You know what I should do is look for motorbikes. Uh, we went into this massage parlor the last time we were here. Dip in for a quick bird. Brownies, cookies, uplifted, energetic, cheerful, creative. Relax, sleepy. Oh, yes. Another massage parlor. Fossa. Is this the one I came to? No, this is not the one. I, did, I do remember having a coffee up ahead, but it's quite far. I mean, you know, it's all relative, but fairly far. Massage. 600 baht for 60 minutes? I'm sorry. That's just wrong. They're talking about 600 baht for a massage. We went to two massage places. We went to one back there, and it was like 200 baht for an hour. 300 baht for an hour. I think that's what it was, 300. Which is pricey, but it's an island, you know? And here, we're looking right here. Oil massage, 300 baht for an hour. Foot massage, 300 baht. Thai massage, 300 baht. Coconut oil massage, 400 baht. Back and head massage, 400 baht. Thai herbal massage, 800 baht. And it's right down there. And Bo went there. To get herself a massage and I was walking around I didn't get a massage there and she said it was quite good so we have a little experience here we also have some experience getting food here and in fact we ate right in this food court everybody's waving everybody's so so happy to wave and say hello I love that The last time we had food, we were sitting right where that little girl is. Yes, so. Yes, Bangkok feels like a distant memory. I think we're gonna start doing this more often, actually. Now, if we walk up this way, well, walk up this way. And then we go to the left and then back to the right. Yeah, and to the right. Straight ahead. In our hotel, we stayed there one night. The Blue Moon Hotel. And I said to Bo, you wanna stay there again? No, 
Why not? It's not bad. It's cheap. Yeah, I know. I want to stay on the beach. Okay, whatever you say. See how far this is from the beach? Not far. And this is Happy Cement right down here with the girl with the bag or guy with the bag. Whew, that's the blue moon. Whew, God, man, the heat is just freaking unbelievable here. Out in the middle of the sun. It's crazy. Whew. And I will show you the blue moon because now I'm, it's starting to come back to me now. All the garbage and plants, and motorbikes. But this is where we stayed the last time. Oh, yeah. No, this is Runa Runa. So it's farther up. I don't know where the hell it is. Is this it? Yeah, this, I think this is it. Jesus Christ. No, it's up ahead. All right. I didn't think it was quite that messy. <laughs> and I think when we stayed here, it was six, 700 baht. Now it's like 1150 crazy we stayed right in here at the blue moon the blue moon eh, that's where we stayed here can you probably can but I don't want to overstep my bounds sweaty cop Jesus these look these are a bit of a mess when you get to the hotel boom they're cleaned up look at this much much cleaned up here Let's see here. Hello, hello. I need to walk. I gotta keep on walking. She can work, I'll walk. Maybe, just maybe. I'll stream tomorrow. I don't know. I might. If I can, if we have a motorbike and something to do, I'll stream tomorrow. Flamingo Villa. Now, see, this place looks kind of nice. So, I'm at your house. All right, now we're back. I don't think I went this far down. You little ankle biter. No, I don't go this way. What am I doing? Oh, come on. I'm not going to do anything to you. <laughs> it's probably your best friend. Another little place. Whew. I think I just go over here. This, this back area is a bit uh, trashy. <sighs> eh, the phone's not overheating yet. It's not, it's not the phone overheating. It's the, the connection.
Cyrus, how you doing? How long till you come back to Thailand? Flamingo Villa looks quite nice. Woohoo. Tourist police right here. And I remember this place. The Doobie Farm. April 28th. Okay, so it's not all that far away. This is the Doobie Farm. Well, fruit's priced a bit high here, I'll say. I don't know what this is and I don't really feel like looking into it to see exactly what it is Whew. paradise green donor kebab Peri Peri chicken, chips and peas, 295 baht. Crazy. What is this, man? Oh, God. Massage. Massage, massage. Hello. And shade is at a premium here. Oof. Oh, you know what I should look for is an ATM. I have no cash at all. None. I spent my cash and have been using QR code the whole time. Everything's been paid for with the QR code. Health promoting hospital. Pharmacy. Party house. Now, where is that coffee shop? Heat is picking up. I need to go for a dip. Actually, I think my hotel has a swimming pool as well. <sighs> yeah, uh, most of the time I use the QR code, but sometimes you can't use it. And actually now, you see, I'm on the phone. Uh, I'm on the phone, and if I'm gonna pay, I have to get out of the stream to pay with the QR code. Yes, so I'm, I'm, I'm at an island. I'm at the very touristy Cosmet. Which, like I said earlier in the stream, this is actually not my choice. My choice is not to come here. My choice is to go somewhere else. But, and I'll be honest, it was four hours and 15 minutes from the time we got to the bus station and got in the bus. It was four hours and 15 minutes just to get to Rayong. And then it was another almost 30 minutes to get to Cosmet. To, to the pier, okay? And 
To me, that's a lot, man. I'm like, I'd rather fly somewhere. I'd rather fly in somewhere and then take, you know, take a ferry for 30 minutes. That's what I'd rather do. I think the coffee shop is right up ahead here. Yeah, Cement Gray House Cafe and Room. Woo, man, it's hot. I've been here before to this place, so why not go again? any food you know that's the thing my wife is I mean you know she could retire I guess if she really wanted we could I, I, I don't know I guess we could probably swing it and make it work somehow you know do a little work on the side or and you know just have enough to cover our nut but I just want to sit down for a second I really don't feel like getting anything from in there But she's too young. And I think she would go crazy if she wasn't working. Because she is the kind, she thrives on doing business and dealing with customers and talking to people. She thrives on that stuff. She may not think so. She may say, oh, I hate my job. Every once in a while she'll come home and she'll go, I wanna quit my job. And Maybe she would, I don't know. But then I'm like, okay, then what would you do? You know, she'd run a little small little place or something, and I'd go, okay, well, so you're gonna get somebody to, that, you know, you're gonna get some kid or somebody that you trust to work and take over where you're, what you own, whether it's a little market or whatever it is, and you're not gonna be working that much. So what are you going to do? Are you gonna come to cement? You're gonna go to Samui, you're gonna go to some island somewhere, we're gonna go hang out. She was like, oh, let's go to Surat. I'm like, I don't wanna to go to Surat. That's my trip away, to go to Surat for a couple of days, to relax? No, I don't wanna to go to Surat. That's why I told her, I, I, I'm not going to Surat. You wanna go, go. She just went for a day to pay for the roof of her house. Flies everywhere. She can go to Sarni, yeah. She knows the Sarni's over on Sui Tansan. She knows that place. And she'll go for a coffee once in a while, but she's not gonna go just to go do something. You know, and I was surprised. She said, oh, well, well, maybe we should get a motorbike and we'll go see the island. You know, uh, that's not really like her. We don't usually do that. And she said to me, we should get a car and just stream and, and make videos. And I'm like, okay. I don't think she knows quite how hard it is, but yeah, maybe she's right. I don't know, I don't know. And you know, I hate to say this, but the thing is, is I'm getting older. I don't have the same desires that I used to have. I, I used to want to go out. I just walk and 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 talk and it's five hours, six hours. Or I'd make videos and I'd spend a whole week or two weeks editing them. There you go, boys. Mr. Two Quarters Korean. That could have been your future ex-wife. You know, most of these places are closed. But everybody that's coming by here, they're driving by on motorbikes. So maybe we'll ride around on a motorbike today, tomorrow. I don't know. We'll have to see. Or Songtown. Lots of Songtows.
no wives or wife or girlfriend in my future. <laughs> well, you know what? When you say that, that's when it happens. When you least expect it is when it happens. So don't, don't be surprised if all of a sudden you're like, hey, where'd she come from? She's been in my life now for six months. I don't understand it. I, I'll tell you what I haven't seen. And I'm sure they're here. Monitor lizards. Don't know what happened to Gennaro. I really don't know. Who knows? Could be busy, could be pissed, could be, you know, could be a lot of things. <laughs> uh, never say never, my friend. Never say never. <sighs> Motorbike for rent doesn't tell you the price. Jack Coke. I can get a cocktail there if I want. I need to find an ATM. I think there's one by the 7-Eleven. You should just let him be, then I wouldn't have to speak. Listen, everybody makes fun of the elephant pants. I see all kinds of ties with elephant pants on. I seen all kinds of foreigners with elephant pants on. So to me, it doesn't, I won't wear them. I don't want to wear elephant pants, but if somebody wants to wear them, that's, you know, whatever. No problem. Rock them, make them, make them your own. Oh my God, it's hot. Whew. Well, they're actually fishermen's pants, but they started calling them elephant pants because a lot of them have elephants on them. In fact, my wife brought a pair. I don't think they have elephants on them, but she brought a pair of burgundy pants and I'm sure she'll wear them. In the next day or two, she'll wear them. farther you get down towards the the beach the more things open up oh my god police station Um, they're not mandatory. Nothing's mandatory. You want to wear them, you wear them. I don't want to wear them, but other people want to wear them. I understand it. And some chicks, they look good in elephant pants. I don't know what anybody's complaining about. And, you know, they could be Thai, they could be Westerners. Doesn't matter. I just love this the name of this place, the Do Doobie's Farm. It's Doobie's Farm, not Doobie Farm, but Doobie's. All right, we're right at the restaurant again.
Well, look how many you see people wearing here. You really don't see many. I'm looking around. When I'm looking, I don't see them. All right, there's a pair right there. One pair. One pair. One pair out of all the people that we've seen. Well, there's a reason why there's a lots of tourists here, because it's a tourist destination. Which is why we figure we know where to go, where there's not that many, not that many tourists. Buds, joints, food, shrimp, prawn cakes, whatever you want, you can get. Oof. Aromatic massage. And that's about it for the street. I don't even know what is this. What if I forget what the street is called? Happy Street. I think we're gonna go left up ahead just for a little bit. I'll see. I don't know about this. It'll be left up ahead. I don't know. Look at this, all in Chinese. Or is that Korean? I don't know. <laughs> it's probably Korean. Here we go. Service fee, 200 baht. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I mean, maybe not quite as many tour groups, but it was pretty busy. I mean, you see, this is the little pickup place. This is where everybody gets picked up. Everybody just waits out here on the tables or whatever. And if they want to come in, then they they get a song towel. You just ask for a song towel, wherever you're gonna go, check it out. And when they're ready to take you, they take you. Simple. Thank you to Paul. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I've already got Ka Chang on the docket for next month. I may visit Cement next time. How are the beaches? Eh, they're pretty good. Uh, pretty good. I think Ka Chang is better. The beaches are better. Uh, depends on which Ka Chang you're talking about. You're talking to the, to the east or you're talking to the south? If you're talking to the south, oh, they're fantastic. If you're talking... And, and it's, it's not that much of a tourist area. I mean, even though there are tourists there, uh, it's, it's, still, it's still a bit, uh, I don't know. There's, there's not that many tourists there. But if you go to the east, I mean, it's a tourist attraction just like Cosumet. Here's another coffee shop. I've, I've wanted to go to this one for a while, but I never do for whatever reason. I don't know why. I don't want any coffee right now. I'm stuffed. 
It's my wife's fault. I blame her. The only way you can go really here is down on the beach. Which, you know, we need to do that. <laughs> well, she's gone. She just took my bag and I guess she left. It's 1030. They're not supposed to open until 12. So I don't know where she went. <laughs> Probably got tired of sitting there. Uh, the sun is so bright. I don't even want to. If I was going to come out here, I need to have some beer. One more look here. Uh. Look at that. Lovely. Lots of fruit. I'm just going to go back here and see. Maybe I'll run into her. I don't know. Maybe not. Whew. All I know is it's blistering hot. I mean, it is so hot out right now. That's probably why she's like, I gotta get, get in a little bit. She's probably in the air conditioning somewhere. I don't see her down here, so. Korean. Obviously they have lots of Koreans here. Change this place a little bit because they this place right here did not used to be closed in it used to be open I don't know where she is now I gotta call her crazy this is like little Korea here Dream a bar. Buddies, they have everything. They're kind of like, uh, I forget the name of that group in uh, on Kaosan Road. Whew. Maybe I'll go and have a coffee, I guess. Have a drink. Have a little something. still have the sunglasses that I got from this place.
Miguel Villa looks pretty nice. My guess is she went to look for motorbikes that she can rent. Look at this. Oh, All righty. What is that, a cat? These little gazebos here. That's kind of nice. I could go down to that last one, but I'd rather just sit in this dirty little spot. Ah, yeah. Whew. Very hot, guys. Very, very hot. Anyway, listen, I want to get on the motorbike. Have not been to Cochrane. Um, I know a lot of people like it. I don't know. Um, I'm always apprehensive just because once you're there, you're there. But I have heard good things about Cochrane. And I, I have thought about going there. I've thought about, you know, some other places. Uh, there's some places like that people they really don't even hear of that I've thought about going to and I thought about going on this trip and you know basically it came down to she was like it's gonna take too long to get there you know if you see a Korean girl say Chogi <laughs> oh yes I'm gonna go up to a Korean girl and say Chogi I'm sure she'll love that. Oh, God, I gotta get in the shade, man. Oh, yeah, much better here. Oof. See, these are all ties. Ties anchor ends. Anyway. Or she might have went to go get a massage. So, uh, thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate it. Thank you to all those who contributed and to all my regular uh, donators, the people on Patreon, the people in YouTube. I appreciate it. And all the people who give the one-offs here and there. I appreciate it. And, um, yeah, what more can you say? Like I said, I will possibly Possibly, I will be streaming tomorrow. I don't know yet. It depends on the motorcycle situation, what we're going to do. Uh, you know, I, I don't know yet. But Monday, Tuesday, something like that, I'll stream. It could be tomorrow. So thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate it. And uh, thank you. That is all. I will talk to you guys when I talk to you. See you when I see you. I'm Scott. I'm an American in Cosumet. Until next time, as I drip and sweat, choke me, leo, jerk, and my. All right? I'll talk to you guys later. Boom. Boom. Ah, boom. There you go. All right. I'll see you later.